What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dashari. Y'all, we are not in our signature location today. This is a new car because we're having lunch with my dad today. We came to Velvet Taco. Now, I live in a place where things are slow. I'll go ahead and let y'all know where I'm at. <clears throat> and we get everything late 30. So we have Velvet Taco here in the city. So we are about to go in here and try it for lunch. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I find the one, give me what you need me, I know what you like. I feel it for me, time is up to get set, I try to need you. Spicy, what's it, spicy shrimp, chili shrimp. Sweet chili. Sweet chili shrimp taco. And then I just, I don't know why I did this. I just went off the wall and I got the chicken and waffle. And they made the tortilla into a roast. They got a little bacon on the top. And then this is the chicken tikka, basically chicken tikka. And it has a rice in it. all right y'all so we are on the way to get eyebrows done i'm excited i'm finally able to get these done they're not looking terrible but they looking like they need to be done so i'll see y'all whenever i get there i get a thread instead of a wax and probably i'll talk about it whenever i get there why i decide to get a thread instead of a wax the benefits are better i believe and the eyebrows grow in way better but i'll see y'all whenever i get there all right y'all so look just got my eyebrows done as you can see baby this one is on fleek always this one i think i should have grew it out just a little bit more just so it could have like the same arch they looking like sisters and not twins that's okay because baby they still giving i love getting my eyebrows threaded and i was i told y'all i was gonna tell you why i get it threaded instead of wax so whenever i was younger i used to do waxing um of the eyebrow and it would be nice but like the wax is not always necessarily clean especially if you do it like at a nail shop or stuff like that so i don't know the benefits of threading for me would be it last longer your eyebrows grow in evenly and if you want to have them you know grow out a little bit to obtain the arch that you want you can do that the shaping of the brow that you would like so like if you want to do like a square right at the tip of your eyebrow then that's more obtainable with the thread more than wax because it's just like a, a big old piece of wax and then they put a strip on it and tear it off so um they i feel like i haven't got waxing in a long time uh as it relates to eyebrows so i don't know the pain level i remember back then it used to hurt but i feel like if i was to compare it in my head i feel like they're the same because obviously it's a consistent like thread on your eyebrow and a wax is just like a instant pull so i feel like there would be the same pain level i feel like threading would just be a little bit more milder i don't know what y'all threshold is for pain um i don't think i have a high pain tolerance but then again i've got my nose pierced i've gotten i got two holes in my ear and i get you know my eyebrows threaded every at least month i try to do it every month but uh, if I have things that I'm doing, then I try to do it like every two weeks. So anyway, my girl Dara, she gets me right. And actually between her and her daughter, her daughter be doing the thing because she's like more of a millennial like myself or a Gen Z or young, young. She's young like me. Um, so she understands like what the girls be giving. 
um, as far as eyebrows, but today I think her mom did it. So she does just as good, but baby, we're back in action. <laughs> we are back in action. So I'm glad I was able to do that today. There's a snow cone place. Hopefully this wind is not too loud because it's hot outside today. Again, it says it's 96 outside. It's, it's hot. So that's why I got the air on, but I'll turn it down for a little bit. There's a snow cone shop that's not too far from where I get my eyebrows threaded at. And I think I'm about to go get me a snow cone and then head to the hizzy. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'll see y'all at the snow cone place. So y'all, I done made it to the snow cone shop. It wasn't that far away, like I said. It's just, let me go ahead and turn this off since I got my window down. I can actually open this up. Get a little sun action in here. So I'm at the snow cone shop. Normally I get like uh, the strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, the strawberry cheesecake uh, snow cone. So that's what I'm gonna get today. It'd be real good. Is it just me or is these eyebrows giving what they supposed to gave? That is it. Thank you. you. Alright y'all, so I got my, my snow cone. I'm at the drive. All right, y'all. So I done made it back to the house. I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I am super appreciative. And like my messages say at the end of every every vlog, I'll be putting a, a new message. You know, call yourself to a higher standard. You know, make sure that you are pouring into yourself. Like the flight attendant says, whenever you get on the plane, if you've never flown before, the flight attendant says. Place the oxygen mask on yourself before you go and help somebody else. That applies in life as well. Place the oxygen, pour into yourself before you pour into other people. Make sure you're full, make sure you are healthy, make sure you are whole in all things before you go and help anybody else with whatever problem they have. Because if you're not okay, then how can you fully give of yourself if you're not okay first? Um, so yeah, take care of yourself, go pamper yourself, whether that's going to get a snow cone on this hot summer, getting your eyebrows done, your hair done, your nails done, your toes done. Do something that is for you to make you feel good, to recharge your battery um, in this thing that we call life. I love y'all so much. I appreciate you so much for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.